so we just came across this building it's right on the water it is a huge building looks like they ran out of money they couldn't keep uh renovating i guess building it we just spoke to the new owner he just bought it and he was kind enough to let us look through it so that's what we're gonna do now this looks like a building he just bought also a little storage shed i guess he bought this one he bought this one this house he's getting everything all cleaned up he bought this house he lives right there and this is the building it's like they're gonna use it for maybe like townhouses or something right on the water you want to walk in it first or not? yeah what do you think walk well, it's a little breezy now you want to wait a few minutes for the drone or you want to walk in it first it's up to you looks like they just ran out of money and couldn't keep building. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Looks like uh, that's the shed, that's the other house. This is uh, docks for the boats to come in. Like I said, he just bought the property and he was more than happy for us to take a couple photos and send them to him and explore it. honestly is insane they just ran out of money and couldn't keep building this place is huge and when I say it's right waterfront property I mean this is right on the water remind you we are in upstate New York so the pictures of all the trees and stuff during the fall it is a beautiful view here this is all like septic Six. So they're going to build four more. But they ran out of money. This is the water that it's on. This is a beautiful location. Nice houses over here. This is Onada Lake. Look at these windows, Nate. A lot of windows. Yeah, it is. Looks like they're building small patios on there. The sounds of the wave. Wow. Imagine waking up to that. Foam's already in, spray foam, foam. All the outlets. Someone definitely dumped some money in here. This is a nice living room. Looks like this is probably where the kitchen area would be, or the dining room. Nice windows. Imagine waking up and just looking at the water. high ceilings
can't even get upstairs. That's weird. Maybe we can get in upstairs from this side. Yeah, there we go. Same concept. Kitchen area. Looks like master bedroom in here. What'd you say? I'm used to these kind of houses. Yeah, having you work, you working on them all the time. I worked on like four houses like this. Wow. Those are a bitch to put up. Right now. Oh yeah. They're called trusses, whatever. Yeah. Trusses. Surprised they didn't even put stairs over there, dude. Looks like bathroom, the patio. I don't know if I feel like walking on this patio. What do you think, mate? Wow. That breeze feels good. Yeah. Feels sturdy enough, I guess. Yeah, the only thing this house is looking like is a little bit of siding, garage door, electricity's already put in, needs flooring, set of stairs here. Other than that, sheetrock and appliances, and this is ready to move in. It's the last one. It's a big spider web there. Driving garage. Same as that concept. No flooring. Or, I mean, no stairs again. Yeah. Oh, yep. Wow. Because they didn't finish the side of this building. Has rain damage. This is probably going to be the last one that they'll end up running out. This one's going to need a lot of work. As long as it's not too bad and too rotted out, it should be alright. Because the side of the building is not finished. I think they just boarded it up because they try to save some of it. As you can see, the ceiling, the side of the building is not closed up. Which it definitely got, has some rain damage. Alright, we just got done exploring this abandoned townhouse right behind us. And we took the drone up, got some good footage. Uh, like, subscribe for more abandoned places.